guys what is up welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing my current brow routine I've got no makeup on because I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial after this so I thought I'd start off with my brows and show you what I've been doing lately to get them looking fluffy a bit more natural looking a little bit more textured a bit more I guess catwalk I guess is a thing rather than the Instagram brow which I'm totally over so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I actually have my brows tattooed because I really don't have much hair there at all. It's all mainly in this front sort of section and then a few like, you know, random bits through the rest of it. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Okay, so let's just go through firstly, oh I've turned really cool looking because the lights just changed. <laughs> the first things that you're going to need is you're going to need a mascara spoolie. So you can pick these up from Priceline or your local beauty store. You're also going to need soap, and I like using the Pears soap. It's a clear soap. Um, it's probably a little bit better than using um, a white colored soap, so go and pick up a clear soap. And then you're also going to need a brow pencil. So today I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil, and this is in the shade Soft Brown, I think. I don't think it's written on here, but there's only like two shades available in Australia at the moment. One is Auburn, one is Soft Brown. I'm definitely not Auburn. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to be using today. So if you've never seen what they call soap brows, I will link Pixie Woo's video down below. They are the ones who started the whole trend, I guess, on YouTube. It's been around for a very long time. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and let's just get straight into it, hey? Okay, so we're nice up and close. So I've just got some little water in a little dropper bottle and just some little um, cotton rounds, I guess you call these, that I'm going to um, wet my spoolie on so I don't get water everywhere. You can go run it under the tap. That's normally what I do, but I just cannot be bothered getting up. <laughs> so I'm just going to wet that here. Okay, so now my spoolie is all nice and wet and I've got my soap here. And what I'm just going to do is just sort of rub the spoolie into the soap and then you can see that it's starting to get on there and you basically just want to run the soap with the, the spoolie with the soap side on just through your brows and I start off by pushing them all up and then you just dip back into the soap if your spoolie gets dry again just wet it again and basically this just helps build the brows so if you don't like that flicked up um, sort of look that's fine just go over the top just slightly and bring it down so this is basically going to set the brows in this sort of shape and they're not going to move. So that's what I really do like using this technique and then I just go back in and build. So I just keep re-wetting re my little spoolie and dipping it back into the product. I think it just really helps texturize the brow and make the brow hairs stand out. I probably do need to tint my brows as well and that would make a huge difference. But I haven't done that for a couple of weeks. So that's that done. What I like to do now is just let my brows dry naturally. Um, it doesn't take very long because obviously it's soap. So let that happen. My brows are dry now so I'm just going to go in with my brow pencil. I'm actually not going to use the spoolie end at all um, because my brows are now set in that position. So just going to pop the pencil out, um, a, you know, a good amount, not like a teeny tiny amount. So basically all I'm going to do now is create singular brush strokes where I need them. concentrating this in the same direction that my brows, my brow hairs are actually facing. Okay. 
and there's one brow all done. I'm really happy with how the sort of the fluffy gets a little bit more texture to it. I think that if you've got plenty of brow hair, I mean this this will definitely work for you as well. But I think that if you don't have much at all, it just makes it look a little bit more natural and not quite so filled in and harsh looking. I'm really enjoying doing my brows like this and even on days when I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever I still will set them in place using that um, soap brow sort of technique now on this particular brow I really don't have much hair in this particular section so I really am concentrating on just creating singular hair strokes and I find that I hold the spoolie well not spoolie but the brow pencil quite at the back so you're not so you've just got that nice sort of flicky motion happening. And don't go over the same section too much. Sort of work your way down and then start again. That way, you know, you're sort of not creating too much thickness in one sort of section and then realizing you've gone too far. really vary about where you're putting um, you know like a darker stroke versus a lighter stroke so light hand and then maybe a little bit of a harder hand I guess you'd call it and then occasionally sort of step back from the mirror and have a look yes I do realize that my brows are not sisters they're not twins they're distant cousins and you know what I'm quite happy about that I like that my face doesn't look exactly the same so I am happy with how they look they feel nice and set down and I just find that that really helps me create that nice fluffy textured brow so so I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial on how I've been doing and filling in my brows recently if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like, subscribe and share if you haven't already. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.